and he's been telling you what sort of bats players use, what weight they like, what handle width. Today, another instalment. Here's Heels to tell us more. Oh, great shot. Beautifully played. And again. Thanks, Simon. Well, we've got the skipper, Ricky Ponding's joined us, and his bat has caused a little bit of controversy with this sticker. But first of all, punter, with the full back of black, did it take a bit of time to get used to looking down on? It does look a bit different. He wasn't what we've uh, obviously growing up with, uh, with bats with just stickers on the bat, back and, the, and the, the plain wood. It did take a little bit of time to get used to with this, and they, I think Kookaburra actually uh, experimented with a couple of different uh, textures as well. One was really shiny when I originally got it, but this one's a bit of a duller finish. So, uh, no, it's come up pretty well. I think it's been received well by the public. Now, it's carbon wa a weave in that sticker, but can you believe that that's going to uh, enhance the performance of the front of the bat? Look how thick those edges are. Yeah, no, I don't think that was the uh, the intention of that at all. Um, the intention of, the, of this carbon fibre was to, to reinforce the bat and make it a bit stronger. I think even uh, any club cricketer that buys a bat, and certainly even even me, uh, you want it, if you've got a good bat, you want it to last for as long as you, you can possibly get it to, and I think this is certainly helping do that. Yeah, what about the front of the bat? We've said thick edges. What, what do you like about a bat? What... I, do like, I do like the thick edges. Um, I, I do. I'm actually, the last uh, probably 12 months, I've been cutting the top off the handle, cutting the knob off the handle to make it a little bit shorter. Uh, it just feels a little bit better in my hands and sort of doesn't get in the way as much either. And, but, and uh, you don't mind that grip like that or that, no, that, that gets nipped off? Yeah, game day that'll, that'll get uh, knocked back down nice and flat so there's uh, you know, there's no none hanging over the top and I always, always like to have the grip you know, nice, and, nice and tight down to the shoulders and the top of the bat as well. But yeah, the, my bat's the last three or four years have actually got a little bit heavier. They're sort of around the 210, 210 and a half mark now. When, when I first started they were sort of 27, 28. So. You're on everyone's list as the number one bat lover. You love your cricket bats, don't you? I do, yeah. They're the tools of the trade, I guess, for us. And I, I'm, I must admit, I'm not as fussy now as I, as I once was. I was a bit of a, a bat nuffy there for a long time. But I think uh, I've improved over the years. And I think that's come along with the, with the weight getting a bit heavier as well. I'm not as, I'm not as fussy as I used to be with the, with the weight of them, which is sort of making it a bit easier to get a good bat, I guess. You've been with Kookaburra since you've been about 12. Can you remember your first bat? Uh, I can. I remember my first bat. Yeah. I, uh, well, back then, yeah, when I when I was 12, I was struggling to get bats at the right weight. You know, I was you know, getting these big uh, men's full-size bats, and for, for almost for, for days and weeks on end, I'd stay staying at home and playing the back of them <laughs> off and shaving them down, trying to get them to the right weight. But uh, no, look, th thankfully over the last well 10 years of my career, I've had some some great bats, and you know, especially the last three or four years have been sensational. <laughs> The hard hitting Andrew Simons. He uses Grey Nichols Predator. Simo, what do you like about it? Uh, my bats um, are very thick edges. I like the thicker edges when the ball, you don't quite catch the ball in the middle, still comes off well. Um, I use a slightly longer bat, that's why it's got long blade sticker on it. Um, and a couple of grips. A couple of grips, just like a thicker, more cushioned grip. Six. It went further than that. The first bat, what was it and how did you purchase it? Um, I had a um, Simmons Super Tusker, I think it was. And it was, a spe it was specially made for kids and it was, it was a bat that was um, sort of cut down. It was small, um, the handles were smaller. Uh, I've still got it at home actually. And the bottom sort of worn away at an angle from all the use over these. Just to give a bit of an idea, we might. this is Ricky Ponding's bat, and uh, you can see the long blade that Andrew Simons was talking about. It's just about a centimetre uh, longer than Ricky's blade, and then the handle is probably, uh, you know, three quarters of an inch is longer. He's definitely going for it, and he's hit a big one. And he's done it. First ever half century in test cricket. The sheer weight of runs has forced us to include Glenn McGrath in the bat segment as well. Uh, Pidgey, is the 61 still a talking point amongst yourself? Um, I haven't mentioned it for a long time. The boys sort of bring it up from time to time, <laughs> but I've basically forgotten about it now, so it's that long ago. It was a landmark uh, moment uh, for cricket, really. It was with this bat. What do you like about this bat? Um, well, it actually wasn't the bat I scored the 61 with. Uh, the other one had Michael Bevan on it. So, you know, as it stands at the moment, he's now using the Glen McGrath 61. So <laughs> finally got him uh, in it. But uh, yeah, just something that feels good. Uh, obviously, obviously a little bit longer in the blade than, uh, say, Justin Langer. McGrath confidently puts it to fine leg. Ah, goes in the air. Will they get there? They're running for them. No, it's safe. The crowd roar. Grains. 
Uh, the type of handle, does that mean anything to Glen McGrath? Um, no, not really, as long as it uh, feels good in the hand. I, I did a while ago use two grips, but now I prefer a, a, just a one grip and, so uh, for the uh, for the short. Would you know how much this weighs? Oh, it's about 210, I think. And that brings up the 100 partnership. Yep, McGrath down the end straight away, shakes him by the hand, and I think Hussey's response would have been, thanks for staying around with me. How many bats would you carry in your coffin? Um, I try to carry only one. Sometimes two. Mike Whitney once said to me, if he ever caught me with two bats in my bag, he'd burn one of them. So, uh, sorry, Whit, I've, uh, I've got two in the bag at the moment. <laughs> well, once again, it reinforces the message that good things come to those who wait. Well, sublime to the ridiculous there. Fancy that. Glenn McGrath's bat, why should he be recommending anything to anyone that's got to do with Willow? And also Ricky Ponting's. But just a little footnote on Ricky Ponting's, uh, an ICC directive on the sticker, the back of his bat. All the black part of that sticker must be a natural colour within two years.